video, I'll show you how to create your own tour through Google Earth by adding place marks and photos and various uh, different things so that you can create a path for your students to follow throughout to Google Earth. So I'm going to do a tour of Michigan. So I'm starting to zoom into Michigan. And then while that uh, zooms in, I'm going to click on My Places over here under the Places tab. And I'm going to add a folder. And I'm going to call this folder Tour of Michigan. And brief description, I'll just say this is a tour of the state of Michigan. And then say OK. So now I've got a folder here. And I'm going to add place marks to that folder. I could always drag place marks uh, that I've created elsewhere into this folder if I wanted to, but I think it's easier if I create the folder and save them directly, save my place marks directly into it. So I'm going to start out with Lansing, Michigan, as the capital city. And so it's going to zoom me into Lansing, Michigan. And once I get to the point uh, where it's zoomed in as far as I want it to be, I can put a place mark in. And I can always zoom in further if I want. And I can zoom out, obviously, as well. I want to zoom in and get right down close to the ground. And let's say that this is the location. Uh, this is as far as I want to zoom in. I'm going to go ahead and click on the place mark. It looks like a little uh, um, pin. Or I go to add place mark, either way. I'm going to click on the little pin. And it puts a pin directly in the middle of the screen. I can click and drag that relocate if I want to and put it wherever I want that pin to be. So I'm going to put it right about here. That looks good. And I will name this Lansing, Michigan. And I can say this is Lansing, Michigan, the capital of Michigan. And I could add a bunch of other text that I wanted to. I could provide um, questions for my students to answer or whatever else other information I want. I can also put links in here. I've already got a link that I've copied uh, to the Lansing Chamber of Commerce site. So I can toss that in and refer students to that particular link. It automatically makes it active for me. And I can even change, if I want a different icon uh, for this, I can change that and kind of look around here and see if there's something that makes sense. And if I just want to change the color and say, uh, make that uh, a yellow star, and it will change the icon to that yellow star. And when I'm done, I can say OK. And now I've got that stop on my tour. And it's in my folder. So if I click on it once, it brings up the information. You can see the text I typed plus the link. And if I click on that link, it would take me, of course, to the, to, uh, to the internet, to that website. I can also add photos. I can do that a couple ways. So I'm going to go to Add Photo. And this window looks quite similar. Uh, and I'm going to put in a photo of the Capitol building. So I'll type in Capitol building. Now I can either put in a link to a photo, I could browse to a photo. So I'm first going to browse to a photo that I have in the state capitol. And there it is. And I can change the opacity of it. Obviously I don't want it to be completely transparent because then it doesn't show through. Um, but if I put it back up, uh, and I'm going to leave it there for now. I can put a description in. This is the Capitol Building in Lansing, Michigan, and I can say uh, OK. OK, so now it's showing up over here. So if I first go to my uh, tour of Michigan, just to see how this starts out, if I double click on it, it's going to zoom me back out to that first uh, kind of overhead view of the state of Michigan. And instead of having it zoom all the way out, I'm going to click on uh, Lansing, Michigan, my first stop. So one click just pops up the text window, and two clicks will zoom me in to that same uh, perspective and zoom level where I set that place mark. Now the Capitol building is popping up because that is uh, that is um, a location very close to Lansing, Michigan. I located that photo very close to my Lansing, Michigan stop. If I turn it off, it'll go away, and I turn it back on, it'll come back up. Okay, now I can also add a picture by going add photo, and if I've got a link to a picture, so I'm just going to say link just to, to clarify, link to Capitol Building picture. Okay, and so I am going to hop over to the internet real quickly, and I have a picture uh, that I'm linking to here, and now I'm going to jump back to 
uh, Google Earth. And instead of browsing, I'm going to paste in that link. Okay, and again, I can put it in the description. I'm not going to type anything out. No, I'll just say um, my description just to have it there. And I can click OK. And so now it inserts that picture just like it did if I um, browsed for it. And if I turn it off, I see the other picture I put in. If I turn that one off and turn this picture on, I can see that. Okay. Now what's also cool is that I can change the perspective uh, of, um, of the map to better match how this picture is oriented. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, edit this picture. And I can do that by first clicking on it. I can uh, actually uh, control click on it on a Mac or right click on it on a PC. And say get info and it will bring this back up. And I have this view button, okay? And for the uh, change to change the view, I can come over to my map, and I can rotate this around however I want to orient uh, the picture differently, so that it the the map actually fits with how my picture is oriented, okay? So if I, for instance, know that this uh, the front of the Capitol is actually facing out east, I can turn my map so it faces it faces that way accordingly so that way when students look at this picture of the capital it'll be overlaid on top of my map in the same fashion as it is in real life so that it would uh, it looks it will look more realistic and once I get this position the way I want it then I can click on uh, snapshot current view and that way when it zooms into this picture now the map will orient itself according to the way I've switch, situated it and that's how we can add some place marks and photos along our journey. I'm going to add one more place mark here. I'm going to go Detroit. And then I'll show you how you can add a pathway. So this is going to jump me over to Detroit. I'm going to add a place mark. Use that same icon that was used for uh, Lansing. So Detroit, Michigan. And just a real brief description. Okay, say OK. So now I have at least two points on my map. So if I want to add a pathway, I can zoom back out so I can see my two points. All right, and I have this uh, again under the Add menu. I can add a path. I can start out by clicking on Lansing and then clicking on Detroit, and we'll put a pathway between them. Okay, and I can name this path. Lansing to Detroit, or if it was going to be a pathway through the entire state for my entire tour, I could just call it my Michigan tour, for instance, and then I can say OK. And the nice thing about that is that then if people select my path and then click on the play button here, they will be able to play all the way through my tour in whatever pathway that I have specified for them. So now I've got this folder, and let's assume that I've got a variety of stops along it and it's all done. What I can do now is go up to File, Save As, Save Place As, and now it will save it as a KMZ file. And I can save that tour of mission as a KMZ file and then share it with my students, and they would have all the stops. It would open up in Google Earth for them. They would have all the stops, all the pictures, and all the things that I put in place on that tour on their machine. I could email it to them, uh, share it in a number of ways, and they would be available to them just like I designed it.